Deep within the treacherous, vine-ridden Borneo jungle, Warrior, in a Viking hat and blue jacket, treks through the jungle with his partner in crime-fighting, Hero, whom happens to be dressed in his normal tight orange shirt and yellow pants with black outer underwear and fluffy pink knee boots. Warrior puts his hand in the air to tell Hero to stop moving. Quiet. We don't want the man-eating headhunters to find us. Hero's eyes light up. Oh, man-eating, yummy, yummy. Hero starts whistling loudly, and Warrior smacks him in the side. Owie! Stop Hero it. sulks as they continue drudging through the jungle. Ugh, what are we looking for again? Warrior rolls his eyes. We're on vacation. Hero tilts his head back with his mouth wide open, then back forward. Oh, that's why I don't have my mask on. I forgot. Warrior shakes his head in annoyance. Hero spots a fallen tree and walks away to sit on it. You go on without me. I can't stand the heat. Warrior looks back at Hero, whom is now shedding his clothing. It's freezing out here. Hero looks at his stiff nipples. <laughs> don't I know it? Then why are you stripping? Hello, man-eating, remember? Warrior turns around and throws Hero's clothes back on him. Get dressed. I don't wanna. A rustling sound from nearby in the dark jungle. Quiet! Twelve little, two-feet-tall headhunter tribesmen exit from the trees. Oh, look at them! They're so cute! Can I take one home? Warrior reaches in his jacket and pulls out a gold-plated boomerang-looking weapon that Wiz created for him to fight demons. Don't touch them. Hero smiles gleefully. Uh, uh, hello there, the man-eaters. Warrior tries not to laugh at Hero's comment while the two-feet-tall tribesmen pull out their spears and bows and aim at our two heroes. Ah, great, now we'll be poked to death. Oh, what a way to die. Warrior aims his boomerang at the tribesmen leader. Stay where you are. Warrior squeezes the gold boomerang, and suddenly a yellow laser beam blasts out of it, causing the headhunters to flee. Hey, good work. Hero and Warrior rejoice, but suddenly a headhunter exits from the jungle, followed by another headhunter from a few feet to the right, followed by several more headhunters from all around our two heroes. Warrior quickly shoots at the surrounding tribesmen. Let us go or you'll be sorry. The headhunters circle the two heroes while pointing their spears at them. One headhunter pokes his spear at Hero's pant legs. Stop! Those are custom! The headhunters continually poke Warrior and Hero. Hey, he told you to stop! Hero puts his hands on the heads of the tribesmen, causing them to swing wildly with their spears. Yeah, don't touch me. One of the headhunters crawl between Hero's leg, unnoticed, and stabs his foot with a spear. Owie! Hero cries as he hops on one leg and pulls off his fluffy pink boots. Ouch! Ouch! Ooh, ouch! 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 Hero massages his barely injured foot through his pink socks. Uh, that's enough. Leave us alone or the next shot won't be a warning. Another headhunter stabs Hero's other foot. Hero falls backward and quickly removes the boot. Stop it! The headhunters shout in celebration while two of the headhunters retrieve the fluffy pink boots and then all the tribesmen return to the darkness of the jungle. Hey, those aren't yours. Give them back. Hero angrily throws dirt towards their escape route. Well, it's, uh, at least they're gone. Hero soaks as Warrior pats him on his back. Yeah, and a thing. I thought they were cute. They will be with those boots. Hero's eyes light up as he looks up at Warrior. Oh, so you think I'm cute? Warrior rolls his eyes as he helps Hero up, and they continue through the jungle.